Okay, so we've been able to set up Firebase in our Firebase console. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and install the Firebase packages and probably set it up so that we can start saving some data to our database. That way we can be very certain that we have a very good connection from our app to our Firebase database. Now to be able to do that, we're going to go to our Nugget Package Manager so that we can install Firebase packages. So I'm going to click on Manage Nugget Package. So here I'm going to search for Xamarin dot iOS dot Firebase right so we're gonna look for Firebase database which is the package that we are interested in installing currently right so this is Firebase database for iOS so I'm going to go ahead and add the package to our application okay so let's go ahead and accept this so our packages were successfully added now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and initialize our Firebase. So where do we do that? We need to go to our Solution Explorer. So we are going to go ahead and open up the app delegate.cs file. So this is the file that handles initialization of things like Firebase and also manages our app state, right? So later on in the course, we are going to be seeing how very useful the app delegate.cs file could be. But for now, this is where we're going to go ahead and initialize our Firebase database. So as you can see, this particular method reads public bool finished launching. All right. So this is more like the entry point into the application. So all the packages that you probably might need to initialize as your app is starting, this is just the right place to do so. So that's why we are going to go ahead and initialize our Firebase database here. So what we're going to do will be to go ahead and write firebase.core.app.configure. Alright, and the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and now say firebase.database the database the default instance the persistence enabled we're gonna set this to false so this is basically the first step in initializing our firebase database now the very important thing that we we'll always need to do will be to import the google services .plist file that we downloaded from our firebase console so we need to go ahead and import this into our project so this is where the plist file is located. So we're going to go ahead and import it into our project. So I'm going to open up our project. All right, so we're going to go to our Solution Explorer. And we're going to click on our project folder title, which is this. So we're going to right click here and we're going to go to Add. And we're going to click on Add Files. So we're going to go ahead and select the Google services.plist file. Okay, so this is the file, so I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to click OK. So the file has been copied to our project. So another thing we need to do will be to return to our Solution Explorer. So this is the file here. So we need to also ensure that the build property is set to bundle resource. So I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to click on build action. So we need to set the build action to bundle resource. So this is very important. So this is basically all the steps that we need to take to ensure that our Firebase database has been properly installed. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and write some data to our database to ensure that we have a very valid connection from our app to our database. We'll do that in the next class.